Hi guys. If you want to know about DoorDash, I'm going to give you some tips that are different than whatever you see online. Um, I've, I've been doing DoorDash now for about three months and um, my regular job, I'm a registered massage therapist. And uh, for fun, I start doing DoorDash, you know, at nights, different times, just to check it out because it seemed kind of fun. And um, I've been waiting until I learned a lot before I come on here and tell you guys my tricks. But because with everything I do, I try to find like why. Why is this working? Why is it not working? And um, I got some really good tips. I have did a lot of research doing it myself, calling DoorDash, watching all the other YouTubes. I find it pretty fascinating, this whole DoorDash thing, actually. It's fun. It's like going to the casino with no money and you get money. Like people are like, okay, door number one. Did you want door number one? Which was like, I don't know, $9. You're like, ooh, I'm going to say no because I'm excited about door number two. Yay, door number two is more. Oh, my God, I get so much. It's fun. Anyway, you all know that and you all know don't take crummy offers. You know all that. So I'm going to tell you stuff that you don't know, which will help you a lot. You may know or you may not. But anyway, oh, let's get into this. So <clears throat> the most important thing with that you need to bring or know on DoorDash is, I've got this written down, you need to bring a flashlight. Like if you're doing it at night, because people don't think to turn their outdoor lights on. And so you're driving along, I can't even see any addresses. So I just open my, my door and shine it, or my window or the other side, and just shine it as I go. I'm like, oh, there it is. And then plus it's always handy for when you get to the person's place, then when you get out, you can shine it to wherever door they want you to go to you know especially if it's um in the back of the house the basement suite or something you're going downstairs like oh glad i brought my brought my flashlight so um yeah and also um other side note you get to go to some really cool places and i love it like i grew up here in my town and there's some places that I've never driven down before. So I, I, I just find it super interesting going down these little dirt roads. I'm like, there's a whole place here. I didn't know. And so I always have a good attitude. And so when the people, you know, when they're like hand it to me or whatever, or they're standing outside, I'm like, wow, this is amazing. Like I, I really like it. I try to have a good attitude. And then when they, the customer sees that you're not like a grump, they give you a good rating you got to have good ratings and I love this one I just had to show you guys this one I just love what this person said oh I don't know if you can see because it's all backwards and stuff but I just love this first one she is awesome I'm like yeah I don't know I love that I live for that <laughs> some weird anyway okay the other that was side that was note one bring a flashlight note two Oh, you may not, I don't know if you know this, but when you deny an order, I only take 10 bucks and, and over, by the way. <clears throat> when you deny it, it goes to the next person, but they up at 25 cents. That's why you see a lot of offers that are $4.25. Denied. Um, and then it goes up another 25 cents until somebody's like, Sure, I'll take it. I'm like, oh, I just wouldn't. It's like, I'm not doing it because I want to deliver stuff to people. I'm doing it because it's fun. I just want fun ones. Like last night, I was like, ooh, maybe I should have taken that nine fifty one because ten dollars my limit. <clears throat> and I got one for twenty two bucks. Woo woo! See, that's fun. It's a thrill. I loved it. <clears throat> um, okay, a good tip if you want to make money: park at the back of the restaurant. I see all these door dashers parked in the, like three door dashers parked in the front of this one restaurant. That's awesome. <clears throat> and um, 
I park in the back of the restaurant, not because I don't want them seeing me. It's because um, the computer where they're ordering, where the DoorDash comes into, like the, the restaurant's computer is usually in the back in the kitchen. And so guess what? Who's the closest? I'm in the back of the restaurant closest to their computer. <laughs> so ting for me. And then I come around and I pull up to the front of the restaurant restaurant and all the other door are sitting there and I'm like <laughs> I get out with my bag and I'm like <sighs> and they're like what the hell she just got here how did she get it I haven't told them I, I just said I don't know. like sometimes I see them in the restaurant and they're like you like where were you I'm like oh, I, don't know. I don't know why it caught me well they're all gonna know now when they see this so they're all now gonna be at the back of the restaurants but whatever it's worth it this is fun Okay, the other door dashers are pretty awesome too. They're always, I, I just find like if you see other door dashers, just go talk to them. Like they're, they're totally helpful and awesome. Okay, this is huge too. Buy a proper pizza bag. Because some pizza places are like, they got these extra large pizzas and your bag won't fit it. And the lame door dash bag that you get at door dash. That doesn't fit anything. Like, ugh, it's lame. <clears throat> so, um, the pizza guys won't give it to you unless you have a pizza bag. Most of them. I'll put a link down below the pizza bag that I bought. I happen to have it right here. I'll put the Amazon link underneath. See? There it is. It fits an extra large okay oh also get a good thermal bag too like just a normal thermal bag i've got this one i'll put a link there's a blue one and a green one on amazon thermal keeps everything warm and the restaurants get so excited when i come in like this will hold two great big bags they get excited when they see me with this, I'm like, oh, that'll keep, that's great. See, and I can zip it up. It's easy to carry. I'm like a boss with this thing. Like I just come in like, <laughs> and then I take it right to the person's door and then I open it at their door and then give them, and they're like, oh, and you see steam coming out when they, they're like, oh, that's fresh and hot. That's awesome. Okay, links down below to get those. They're cheap too. That bag was like, I don't know, 30 bucks or something. Okay. I didn't know this at first. Um, I would just deliver the food and then leave. <clears throat> no, you got to knock on the door. I just thought everybody would be looking at their apps and see that I'm there. But no. So um, when I get there, I drop it off. I take a picture. Oh, I always get exercise too because when I take a picture, I always squat down. That's my little exercise. <laughs> And then, and like, and sometimes I put the food in really cool places, especially at Halloween. Like, I'll put it in the person's hand, like the little, whatever. I try to make it cool and fun. <clears throat> anyway, I take a picture, and then um, when I'm about to leave, I just quickly knock and then leave. Because some people just don't pay attention, and they'll be like, it's been an hour, where's my phone? Oh, shit, it's been out here. I'm getting cold. Oops, so I made that mistake. I didn't know. Like when I get my milk dropped off, they just drop it off and go. They don't knock on my door. And a lot of people, like you just have to read the directions. Sometimes people say, actually, can you not knock at my door? Because I have a dog, it'll go nuts. So that's what I'd say. Don't speed. People can wait another minute. Because if you get a ticket, there goes your whole day's pay. People can wait. There's no rush. All right. Buy car delivery insurance. Because if you're in a driveway and you smack into their car and the person will come out and they're like, they're door dashing. And then your insurance isn't going to cover you. and Whatever. Like, just buy the insurance. For me, it was 300 a year. But also it was probably more for me because um, I just, 
I just had insurance for pleasure. Oh, what the heck? Just a second. There. I just have insurance for pleasure. Um, so I had to buy it, buy it for work and delivery. So it's actually 300 a year. It's worth it. Like, whatever. Okay. Um, okay. Restaurants always put their stuff in a bag and they staple, staple, staple. And you're like, okay. Oh, so I've got like so far two war wounds from the staples. Like just got one last night. See? Red. So don't, you know, you're getting a rash. And you're like, ah, oh. So you just got to freaking be careful because nobody knows how to freaking staple. Like they're like, oh, well, it's good enough. And then whatever. Customers probably stabbing themselves too. I can't control everything. <laughs> just, yeah, just try to grab it beside this freaking staple. So you got to be careful. Like, yeah. Especially when I'm going to go about to do massage the next day and I got these holes in my hands. Like, anyway. So be careful for that. Oh, why does this stupid thing keep doing that? Screenshot thing. Anyway, um, yeah. Well, anyway, that's it. Just enjoy all the cool places and and be awesome and enjoy doing it. And if you don't enjoy it, you know, just quit. <laughs> Lately, actually, I haven't been going too much on during the week because I just like the $10 ones. So I go Friday, Saturday nights because I love it. I love it when it's like, ting. It's, oh, what's my offer? Door number one. Anyway, it's fun. So um, I guess that's it. Those are good tips that you've never heard probably before. And uh, anyway, I hope you guys all enjoy door dashing as much as I do. Like I've been doing massage for, I've been at RMT for like 30 years cause I am 53 years old. There's a lot of older door dashers, actually way older than me, like 60s. Because it's like a great retirement job because it's so easy. You're just driving around, delivering stuff. So, like, I'm going to keep being RMT, but I'm also going to be doing this. Because, like, sometimes my hands get sore after massaging people. So it's a great, like, I'll probably do it when I'm 80. <laughs> anyway. All right. Well. Thanks for watching and happy door dashing. Oh, oops, didn't turn off. Here we go.